Welcome to Metal Acto. Today we are going to discuss Leibniz blood group system. In this lecture, we will discuss the basis of the Leibniz blood group systems, inheritance, and last is the difference between the antigen and the antibody of the Leibniz blood group system. So let's start. First of all, uh, there are twenty nine blood group systems. and uh, in which you will see the 20 are minor blood group systems and 9 are major blood group system so here you will see the 29 blood group systems these are the total number of the blood group system in which you will see 20 minor and 9 major and levis is one of them Leibniz blood group system actually fall in the major blood group system, and this is actually the twenty nine blood group system. But you will see the total two hundred antigen exists. It means that the one blood group system can contain more antigens. Like if I say that. A B O blood group system has A antigen and B antigen. One blood group system contain two antigen. Let's say if I, I if I talk about the Lewis, then you will see L E A and L E B. Now you also see that the Lewis blood group system also contain the two antigen L E A and L E B. It means the system in which the blood group system is twenty nine, but the antigen are two hundred in number. So this is actually the uh, basic overview. Next, we will discuss the features of the Lewis blood group system. Actually, the antigens of the Lewis Lewis antigens are actually carbohydrate in nature. So this is actually carbohydrate, carbohydrate in nature. Antigen. Lewis antigen is carbohydrate in nature, and you see it is secretory in nature. It is Lewis antigen is secretory, secretory in nature, and you will see it is actually secreted in the gut epithelium. So this point is gut epithelium. and you also see that the lewis antigen is present in the plasma so this point is very much important this antigen is not actually attached to the rbcs this is actually present in the plasma then what will happen so if you see that if i say that this is the lewis lewis antigen and in that situation you will see it is actually present in the plasma this levis antigen has ability to attach to the rbc here is actually the rbc and now this levis antigen can attach to the surface of the antigen so it can attach easily and detach easily so this is the levis antigen and uh, if we store the blood so in that situation the antigen that is present on the rbcs will be lost so in that situation you will see that the levis antigen loss on storage so this point on storage so this is the important point so if we do the blood group or if we want to check the presence of the levis antigen then we have to use the fresh blood otherwise you cannot detect the levis antigen on the storage blood so this point is very much important next we will discuss the inheritance of the levis uh, blood group system in that situation you will see capital h small h and you also see that the capital l e small l e and next is the capital s e small s e now there are six genes 
कैपिटल एच स्मॉल एच कैपिटल एल ई स्मॉल एल ई कैपिटल एस एंड ई स्मॉल एस ई सो दीज आर बेसिकली डिफरेंट जीन्स एंड इन वट सिचुएशन यू विल सी द जीन्स विल नॉट प्रोड्यूस एनी थिंग सो इफ यू सी दैट द स्मॉल एच स्मॉल एल ई एंड द एस ई नाउ when these genes are present then you will never see any product this is the situation one these are basically the different rules that will help you to check the uh, pre presence of the antigen so and keep remember you will only see the presence of the lea antigen basically two antigen lea and leb present in the lewis blood group system but lea antigen will expressed only when you will see the gene l e g this point is very much important when there is l capital l e gene present then you will see the lea antigen so and when will you see the leb antigen in that situation lea actually convert into the leb antigen when when you will see the gene capital h capital l e plus capital s e when you see these three genes then these three genes actually convert the l e a into the l e b so these are basically the four rules now we we'll check the presence of the antigen whether l e a positive or l e b positive so in that situation you will see the le capital le i'm talking about capital le now this condition fulfilled capital le gene is present in that situation this is actually the different genes capital le gene present now you will see the lea will antigen will present okay and you also see that are these three capital genes present in this situation okay this is capital le good but in that situation you see this is the small se and in that situation now this condition is not fulfilled because it should be capital but in that situation it is small so in that situation lea is present but it will not convert into the leb antigen so this point is very much important and now capital h is present this is capital h is present but now the basic difference is the small sc and due to the small sc this condition is not fulfilled so in that situation you will see the le a positive but the b will be negative so this is the condition in that situation only the lea antigen is present leb is negative okay next is the condition in which you will see capital le now this condition is fulfilled capital le gene is present now you will see the le a antigen okay you also see that s e also capital h also capital so this condition is fulfilled by the rule number 4 in that situation capital h capital le capital s e is present so in that situation le a will convert into the leb so in that situation you will see here is the situation l e a negative but b is positive why in that situation you will see the l e a antigen that is formed due to this gene now all convert into the le b antigen so in that situation you will see lea become negative because it convert into the leb antigen so you will see all the leb antigen in next is the this is the small le now in that situation this condition is not fulfilled in that situation you will never see the lea antigen okay and uh, another thing is that this is also se se small and this is capital in that situation both conditions are not fulfilled so you will see that in this condition you will see le a negative and b negative both are negative in this condition 
Okay. Next, last condition is this is also small LE, but we have to require the capital LE gene. So in that situation, you will never see the LEA antigen. Okay. And other is the same. These are basically the small. In that condition, you also see the LE A negative and B negative. So the, these genes, they are different combinations of the gene actually determine the presence of the LEA antigen and LEB antigen. So this is actually the inheritance of the Lewis. Next, we will discuss the antigen of the Lewis blood group system and the antibodies. In the antigen, you, uh, you will see, first of all, in the pregnancy. In the pregnancy, the condition goes towards the LE, LE, A negative, B negative. This point is very much important. In the pregnancy, you will see never any LE, A antigen and LE, B antigen. This is for the temporary. If uh, there is a pregnant woman and who has LE, let's suppose if I say LEA antigen is present. But in the pregnancy that L, you will never see the any LEA antigen and LEB antigen. This is for the temporary condition. Okay. Next is the when Lewis antigen will express in the body. So actually 12 to 15 months after birth. So during this condition after birth, this point is very much after birth. After birth between 12 to 15 months, you will see the development or the expressions of the Lewis antigen. Now, and next is the, the Lewis antigen is actually involved in the development of the peptic ulcer and stomach cancer. So, this point is very much important. It actually peptic ulcer and the stomach cancer. Why? As we discussed, the epi Lewis antigen is actually present on the gut epithelium. If I say that the here is the antigen, here is the antigen and what type of antigen LE? B. I am talking about LEB antigen present on the gut epithelium. Okay. Now, in that situation, a bacteria which is called here is the that will attach to this antigen. This antigen has receptor and that receptor will attach the helicobacter pyroli. So, in that situation, helico Bacter pyroli. So now the bacteria will attach Helicobacter pyroli will attach to the LEP antigen that is present on the epithelium. So it causes the peptic ulcer or you can say stomach cancer. So in that situation, Lewis antigen involved in the peptic ulcer and the stomach cancer. Next is the antibody. You see that two antibody anti anti LEA anti LEB. You will see two antibodies LEA antibody LEB antibody, and this is actually IgM in nature, pentameric. And IgM is actually you will see cold antibody. So this is actually the called antibody. What is mean by cold? It actually react at room temperature or you can say room temperature or you can simply say that the below the 37 degree uh, which is the temperature of the body. Okay. And it is actually naturally occurring antibody. If the person has blood group LE, A negative and B negative. There is no any LEA antigen and LEB antigen. So in that situation, you will see the presence of the both antibodies anti-LEA and anti-NEB. So this point is very much important. When there is antigen, the opposite 
antibodies is not present if there is no antigen now and then antibody will be present so this point is very much important and last is the you will never see any hdfn hemolytic disease of fetus and newborn in case of lewis blood group system because in that situation in the fetus lewis blood group is not expressed early stages this is the one point and next point is that it is actually igm in nature so it is actually igm in nature and igm antibodies cannot cross the placenta placenta this is another important point two point first is the uh, lewis antigen is not expressed early this point this is the first point next point it is igm in nature and it cannot cross the placenta so due to these uh, points you will never see the hemolytic disease of fetus and the newborn this is all about the lewis blood group system if you have any question then you may ask in the comment section thank you